Chargers, Cardinals. I actually like this game. This is a sneaky good cross-conference rivalry or cross-conference matchup here. I don't really think it's much of a rivalry. Um, look ahead was a pick, and we've seen a big move towards the Chargers all the way to that key of three. Um, we haven't seen flat threes yet in the market. I could be wrong. I haven't checked the market in the last hour plus we've been doing this show, but um, it looks like 2.75 is the closest we'll, we've gotten. Um, Fez, you nailed the cards game last week. You laid it with the Packers. They were blitzed from the start in that game. They trailed 24 zip, had no chance to cover. Um, we all were wrong on the Chargers Broncos game last week. We, uh, Fez and Chris like the Broncos against the Chargers. I like the under. We both lost. Um, all three of us lost. Uh, I, I don't know what to think about Jonathan Gannon right now, but I'll be honest. I think at three, this line's moved too much. Fez, I could tell you agree. Yeah, I just, you talked me into it going live. You know, I'm going to give a comp. I know Arizona's not been playing very well, but just earlier in the season, I mean, the Lions, we, we, we're talking about the best teams in the NFL, and it's, it's like Baltimore and the Lions and Kansas City, right? Yeah. So the Lions were laying like three to three and a half at Arizona, right? And now the Chargers are laying three. Now, okay, the Chargers done nice, nice little work the last few weeks, but they're not the D- Detroit Lions. I mean, come on now. Uh, this game should be a field goal game. Give me Arizona plus the three. Anything for you here, Fez? Or Chris? Excuse me. Um, yeah, it, did, didn't I? I didn't use it. Uh... I think you've got the Chargers in that in that parlay with Cincinnati. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like the. uh, I think it's going to be a tight game, and uh, I certainly wouldn't lay three in this game. Uh, But Cincinnati or the the Chargers are the better team here. In fact, somehow Arizona has been the worst team over the last four to five weeks. So uh, they're declining rapidly, and I didn't really understand it. They had so much potential. We were. You know, optimistic about them. Uh, I I was optimistic about them after game two or three. I forget. But uh, since then, they have just nosedive and they're not doing anything right. So I don't know what that's stemming from, uh, but uh, I don't have the confidence. uh, I I wouldn't I don't have the confidence that the Chargers are going to win by more than a a field goal. So that backs me into a corner of, of using that in the second half of money lane parlay with the Bengals. Uh, and uh, feel pretty good about that. Yeah. Scott, the good question, Marvin Harrison, Jr. Concussion protocol. I it's it's likely to good. miss, but I, yeah, I would say coin flip on the 51 49 that he misses, but you know how these concussion protocols go. Um, but yes, good bet that he will probably miss. He's a favorite to miss this week. Um, L.A. is dealing with a couple injuries in the secondary. Um, starting corner, Sante Samuel Jr., IR. Nickel corner, Jasir Taylor, he's going to miss time. Um, depth concerns at corner. Joey Bosa might be back for the Chargers. That's good. Um, Arizona, the big miss, of course, is Harrison. A couple of starters on the offensive line, which they've been dealing with for the last couple weeks now, so I'm not sure that um, it's probably already baked into the line. Um, and their top corner, Sean Murphy Bunting, left last week due to a neck injury. That is something to monitor. This week, he does get an extra day. Um, to heal up. I I think Arizona plus three is the bet. Chargers defense, they lost their only game against the mobile quarterback this year, Justin Fields. The other quarterbacks they faced have been statues, Minshew, Bryce Young. Mahomes isn't a statue, but he doesn't look to scramble. And Bo Nix last week. I mean, you're a three-point favorite against Bo Nix, and you're a three-point favorite against Kyler Murray? Eh, I think I would take Kyler Murray in that regard. So I'll take Arizona plus three as my last play of the week. All right.